Okay, so we are going to do the vegan chili. Uh, first things first, here are the ingredients. So I use the Beyond the Meat, and it says feisty on there. So I have two of these. As you can see, I got two of these. I like to use this. It's pretty much carrots, onions, and celery. I get it already cut up from Wegmans in this container. Next is the beans. I have two cans of the Bushes mixed chili beans and mild chili sauce. And it's got kidney and pinto beans. So I have two of those. And then two of these. The diced green peppers and onions. I use two of those and let me get my chili seasoning. Ah, here we go. I got the McCormick's chili seasoning and my and we're just gonna get this started. So first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the pan off. Okay, so it is on. And don't come for me in my great blah, blah, blah. don't come for me in my great value extra virgin olive oil because this stuff is good. So we're gonna put this in the pan. What is the oil supposed to do? The oil it doesn't um so the stuff won't stick in the pan. And then we're going to let that heat up. And once we let that heat up, we'll be right back. So that's nice and warm already. I'm just going to throw these in there. Hold on, it's going to make a sound. I got my son as the cameraman. Go ahead. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. So it's kitty. So we're just going to... Dump these out in here. Hey y'all, I messed up. I use this little pot. I'm using this little pot, but don't judge me. Just to get the frost off of it because it's frozen. That's good. It does. Well, thank you, kitty. I'm not going to touch this job. And then I'm going to add this to it. I'll probably go like half. Yeah, I'll probably use half of this for it. Because I'm going to use the other half and make my kale soup for dinner tomorrow. I'm going to go away tomorrow. Yeah, you're going to birthday party tomorrow. Can I help? Okay, Kitty, put this back on the TV. I'm going to do it for Jordan. No, no one ever touched it yet. Even That's for daddy, daddy. Kitty. But daddy touch it yet. It's for daddy kitty. So I'm just gonna cook this down and I'll come back to you once I start adding the other stuff. Okay, so now that that's brown, what I'm about to do now is I'm going to add the seasoning, the tomatoes, and the beans. Add both of those in there. Again, this is the seasoning I use. Ain't nothing wrong with using the Great Value brand, but that was what I found. So I'll put both of these in there. And I don't drain it. I don't drain it when I use it, so. It could be more chilly. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep, to give it that extra soupy texture to it. I'm one of those 
stir that in. Mix all that up together, sis. Because I like my stuff chunky. Excuse the background noise. That's the baby listening to Gummy Bear again. <laughs> so I'm going to start all of this together. Try to get all of the seasoning stirred up in it. And you don't have to use beans if you don't want to. But I like the beans. I like to have two types of beans in it just because I don't eat meat. So we got all of that stirred in together. Now we're just going to stir the beans in. And again, you don't drain it. This is gonna overflow. I could have used a bigger pot. I don't know why I used this one. Yep. So just stir this all up together. And once you stir it together, let it simmer up. And then it'll be done. So we will come back to you with the finished product. <laughs> 